Hello and welcome to How To Automotive. So today's video is all about everybody being excited about the new Milwaukee Tools right angle impact tool that just came out and I just did a review on it and I'll link it up in the cards above and at the end of the video. Um, but this video is about a question I got in that review video and they wanted to know should they buy the 3 8 drive extended Milwaukee ratchet or the new right angle ratchet? So instead of me saying, hey, I think you should pick this one or that one, I'm going to put the two tools to work side by side. That way you guys can choose for yourself which tool is best for you. So stay tuned for that. We'll start with a brief description of the two tools. First, we'll start out with the new Milwaukee Tools right angle impact. This is the 3 8 drive model. The right angle impact has 220 foot-pounds of nut braking torque and 200 foot-pounds of tightening torque. The RPMs are controlled with the four button mode switch and it features a variable speed trigger and it works with all the M12 battery lines. Now the extended reach ratchet features 55 foot-pounds of breakaway torque and 55 foot-pounds of tightening torque. It has a variable speed trigger and a fuel gauge. The RPMs on it is around 200 RPMs. The RPMs on the right angle is around 3,000 RPMs max on the max setting. So that's a brief description of the two tools. Now we're going to put them to work side by side so you can determine which tool is best for you. The first job we did was remove a sway bar link in here. As you can see, it was a tight fit, but the right angle impact did fit in there and it ripped that bolt off with no problem. So I have the right angle set up on the power level three, which is the most powerful one. They have a reverse mode too that slows fasteners down as soon as they break free. So it has no problems doing something like sway bar link ends. Here I'm using it to remove the tie rod end nut here. It had no problem ripping this particular nut off. And with that 3000 RPMs, you can see how fast that was. On the opposite side of the vehicle, we're removing the same outer tie rod bolt here. As you can see here, it had no problem breaking it free, but you can see the RPMs are much slower. The slower RPM is not necessarily a bad thing. A lot of times when you have that fast RPM, it'll sling the nuts and bolts and fasteners off. So here I have a ball joint separating tool here. You screw this nut in here and it pops the ball joint free. It took a ton of pressure with the tool to um, break the ball joint free, but it did do it. It probably took close to 200 foot pounds of torque to break that free and there's no way the ratchet would do it you could use it like a hand ratchet but it would be terribly slow and a lot of pressure on it so here i'm using the right angle impact to break a control arm bolt free and it will not break free and as you can see if i tried to use it like a ratchet it just free wheels and won't crack it free but we switched over to the uh, 3h ratchet here and i can push it like a regular ratchet and put as much pressure as i want on it and crack that bolt free then pull the trigger on the extended reach ratchet and run the bolt out. And as you can see, that would be a big advantage for the ratchet in that case. Now using the right angle impact in the in engine bay can be a little tight because it has a little bit thicker head on it. But when you, if you can get it on a fastener, it's more likely it's going to rip it off with no problem. So if it's a super tight area, the ratchet may be a benefit over the, the uh, right angle impact. So that's the case here. I could not get that on a fastener here. But I was able to get the long reach ratchet on that same fastener and break it free and get it out. So on this brake caliper bracket here, I, I had a hard time getting the angle impact in here to uh, break that fastener free. It was at a kind of a weird angle. So I didn't feel comfortable pulling the trigger because I thought it would strip the bolt. But I was able to switch out to the 3 8 ratchet and get that right on the fastener and crack that free. And even though it was too tight, I could use the ratchet like a regular ratchet, break it free, and then spin these bolts out. So as you can see, both tools have their benefits. So now all you have to do is decide which one is best for you. So if you like these tools, I will leave links for them down in the description of the video. I'm Brian Nessa from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, encourage you to subscribe, invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.